Hello and welcome back to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Chris Wickland, Ferrum, UK, The Changing of the Guard. Isaiah 57, 1-2 The righteous perish, no man lays it to heart, and men of loving kindness are taken away. No one considering that the righteous one is taken away from the evil to come. He will enter into peace. They will rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. Many righteous saints have passed of late. Not many of my people are taking it to heart. They are not pondering and meditating upon this sign, for surely the righteous should live and not die. So why are they dying? Have you ever considered or wondered why? A new season has now come upon the earth. A veil of darkness is creeping over the nations. The old previous season has now closed, and thus many generals of the guard They have or are being taken home. They have run the race. They have finished their travail upon the earth. They are my good news, my faithful servants, and it's time for them to enter into their reward. Yet I would not leave my church without fathers, without mothers or generals of faith. No, of course not. I love my people with a tender love. My heart is always for my people. I will raise up new apostles and prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers for this season. Some of these leaders will seem to be as ones abnormally born. They will suddenly emerge from nowhere and grow in prominence quickly. Mark, note these people. Many of them shall be leaders who will help march many of my people to the front lines of the coming great war. But some are saying in the camp, no, there will not be leaders or superstars in the coming move of God. Yet this is what I say. Check your heart, my people. For your hearts are transparent before me. No lie is hid from my gaze. I have compassion on my people. They must have shepherds to lead them. You are right in that you say there will be no superstars. This is true from a worldly perspective. However, there will be spiritual giants in the days to come, the days of Noah. These will be my giants that will walk the earth, mighty men and women of God who have been given everything to follow me. They accept the great, the costly calling that I've placed upon them. In these generals who will lead my people to the great front lines of the great war in the valley of decision under the blood-red sky. Do not fear the coming darkness, my people. Do not let it concern you in your pursuit of me and my will. How can my stars shine if there is no darkness to shine in? It is me who is allowing the darkness to increase so that stars may shine brightly to be the witness in the days to come. Look up to your natural sky and behold the wonder of it. The darker the sky, the more stars are seen. My righteous ones will shine like stars. As Israel grew and became like the stars in the heavens for number, so will my church in these days. Do not fear the darkness, for the darkness and in the darkness my light will shine. Many will come out of the shadow of darkness into my light in the coming days. So ponder the death of my righteous ones. They have finished their race. It's time for them to be rewarded. Note, this is a sign from me to my people. The season has changed. Autumn has now cast its shadow upon the earth. It is time to change the guard. My servant Moses was not allowed to lead my people into the promised land. He took Israel as far as I permitted him to go, and then I brought him home to me. It took Joshua, a military leader, To take the people the next step of the journey, the same is true now. Moses, my servant, is dead. I declare a new guard to lead my people in these days. A new guard who will in time become church fathers, church mothers, who will lead my church to hand the baton to the last generation to face the great war in the Valley of Decision under the blood-red sky. What a word. Friend, will you pray with me into this word? Lord Jesus, it never occurred to me that the sign would come, that we would see leaders of the faith pass. Lord, I rejoice with their passing. We know that it is only a present or a temporary setback, a temporary, temporarily we're lost. But Lord, we know that you are calling up new prophets, new apostles, new evangelists, new pastors and teachers. Lord, we rejoice for those mothers and fathers, those generals of faith that have gone on before 
Lord, they are part now of that great cloud of witnesses. Lord, it is only a, t- a temporary a temporary grief because we know our hope is in you. We will see them again one day. They are cheering us on. Lord Jesus, raise up righteous fathers. Raise, raise up righteous mothers, Lord. Lord, we ask those that have been sitting on the fence, Lord, be a part of this changing of the guard. Be a part of those that are mentoring and discipling. Lord, I thank you that it was for such a time as this that you brought me to the earth. It was for such a time as this that you brought my friend to the earth. Lord Jesus, may we step into all that you have for us as the guard is changed. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.